Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 7 of our series of session on Tally Prime Release 3.0 and we are covering GST module. In the last session, we understood how you can set up ineligibility of ITC for a dealer who are not eligible to claim input tax credit for all their input. The example that we took was the restaurant. Now in this session, we will see how a regular dealer who is eligible for claiming input tax credit on all their input, but on certain input, they, they cannot claim input tax credit as per the GST law. There is a negative list which specifies that all dealers, when they are acquiring these goods or services, they are not eligible to claim input tax credit. So let us see how we can handle this requirement in tally for GST. I have already created a company, a regular dealer, non-availment of input tax credit with GST configuration. This is the GST configuration for the regular dealer. And when we come to set alter GST rate, enter. I have specified the detail for this company where the company deals in computers and computer peripherals, the HSN code and the rate of GST is being specified at the company level, which is taxable at 18%. Important thing to note here is the additional configuration, where in this case, we are setting the option of eligible for input tax credit as yes, because this dealer is eligible for ITC on all their inputs, provided they are used or intended to be used in the course of business. Let us quickly walk through and understand the list of ineligible ITC under GST. I have taken a few sample. If you notice here, the list of ineligible ITC under GST are one is purchase of motor vehicle. Number two, ITC is not available on food beverages, club membership and others, sale of membership in club health fitness center, travel and works contract. Let's take the first example, motor vehicle. If the company buys a car for their business, they cannot claim ITC on car purchase, but they have to show as ITC and then reverse as ineligible ITC. In case of travel, as per GST law, input credit of CGST and SGST of a different state cannot be claimed as ITC in the registered state. Now, what is works contract? As per GST, works contract constitutes any contract for construction, fabrication, completion, erection, installation, fitting out, improvement, modification, repairs, maintenance, renovation, alteration related to immobile property is referred to as works contract. If the registered regular dealer undertakes any of this activity on immobile property, all taxes levied on such activities cannot be claimed as input credit. We will save this configuration by pressing Ctrl A and again pressing Ctrl A. Let us now take the first example of the company buying a motor car. How do we account and handle the ineligibility aspect? We will see now. Let me create a ledger as motor car under fixed asset and we will observe what kind of configuration is required for this ledger master. The name of the ledger is motor car under fixed asset. GST is applicable and now we have to specify the detail for this ledger here. So we are going to select specified detail here, the HSN code for motor car description and the tax rate also have to be defined here since the rate of GST for motor car is 28% whereas as a dealer majority of the item the dealer deals in is 18%. So we're going to say taxable rate of GST is 18%. CGST and SGST will automatically calculate and now very important thing we have to say that eligibility for input tax credit we have to set it as no for this ledger and we will save this. Let us now pass a transaction and see the impact of this configuration. 
select journal date is 1st of april reference number we will enter the reference number date 1st of april now we are going to debit the motor car the amount is 10 lakhs enter and now we have to account for the tax so debit cgst 1 lakh 40 000, which is at 14 percent debit sgst 1 lakh 40 000, and credit the car dealer provide gst details yes car dealer is already selected the gst number everything is captured here just save this by pressing ctrl a and we will save this voucher let us now observe what happens in the return form we will notice that the input tax credit of cgst and sgst is reflecting here as input available but in the next line you will see that the input tax credit is reversed to the full extent of 1 lakh 40 and 1 lakh 40 this is what is the requirement as per the reporting of gst compliance let us take another use case where this dealer is created one common ledger as repair and maintenance and any machinery parts the company is going to procure they are eligible to claim input tax credit but as per the negative list of gst repair and maintenance towards the motor car all itc on the motor car is ineligible now how do we handle this instead of creating multiple ledger in single ledger in tally prime release 3 we can handle this through the voucher entry so let us see how do we enable the configuration for managing this exceptional case first i am going to create a ledger called repairs and maintenance this is going to be under indirect expenses gst is applicable and here again we are going to specify the detail here specify the detail here enter the hsn code for the machinery parts is 12123010 and the description is parts of other machinery the rate of gst is going to remain 18 percent so we can always inherit from the company level so it is automatically inherited from the company level and here again if you notice eligible for input tax credit yes they are eligible for input tax credit on repair and maintenance of any fixed asset apart from the motor car we're going to save this and let us make a entry so we will try this entry in the next month first of may debit repairs and maintenance the amount is 10000 enter debit cgst 9% on 10000 is 900 enter debit sgst enter 900 and credit the supplier provide gst details yes the supplier information is captured save this and we are going to save this voucher let's view the return form we will notice here the input tax credit available is 900 and 900 and the net input tax credit available is the same amount so which means now they are eligible to claim this input of cgst and scst on this particular inward supply now the dealer is going to use the same ledger for repair and maintenance towards motor car but the input tax credit on the motor car is ineligible and how do we handle that we are going to select repair and maintenance 20,000. but now in this transaction this is the repair towards the car maintenance so hence in this transaction any input tax credit that we are accounting is not eligible to be claimed so how do we handle this so you have to press f12 configuration when you press f12 configuration you have an option here modify gst and hsn related detail we are going to set this as yes enter and now the moment you press enter after the amount you will have this gst configuration opening up for this particular transaction further here we have to now mention that this particular transaction input credit is not available so how do we do this again if you notice here on the right hand side bottom you have this f12 configure press f12 configure and you have this option which we can enable set eligibility for input tax credit you have to make this as yes because you are going to modify the eligibility in this transaction you're going to save this and you will notice that this eligibility for input tax credit which is captured at the company level is getting captured here but then we have to modify this so what do we do come down here and say specify detail here it is taxable rate is 18 percent but this transaction is not eligible for input tax credit so you're going to make this as no and the rest of the thing can remain same you are now capturing this from the master or company which gets inherited so i'm going to save this and we're going to debit cgst by 1800 debit again sgst 1800 and let us save this voucher 
control A. Now, since we have modified the GST configuration in this voucher, Tally will now give you this message where it is asking you whether you want to accept this. When you accept this, if you notice it says if you accept with conflict you have to resolve this later that is at the return level or if you are very clear about the changes that you have done in the configuration you can override so that the same exception will not get reported again in the written form or you want to go and modify you just press n to go back now since we are clear that this configuration is required we are going to set as override just press o it will now get saved. So now we will see the impact of this transaction. Notice here the total input tax credit available is 2700 that is 900 plus 1800 the total input credit is available. Now the first transaction that we captured on the regular repair and maintenance the input tax credit on that is says net input tax credit available is 900 and 900 but whereas the 1800 rupees of CGST and SGST on a repair of motor vehicle which is ineligible tally is automatically reverse this entry if you notice input tax credit reverse 1800 is reversed so this way you can very easily and in a simple manner you can handle the ineligible input tax credit on certain purchases of negative list as per GST. I hope you would have got a fair idea of how you can configure the masters for ineligible input tax credit. And also we saw a use case where you can have one single master and for certain type of input, we configured at the transaction level for not being eligible to claim input tax credit. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.